Well, howdy and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I've got something different and special for you today. I've been talking about the camping, did a little trout fishing, got turned on to the camping scene. And I wanted to do an unboxing of the truck camping accessories that I've gone out, researched, and I've acquired. Today's video is not sponsored by anybody, but if you guys want to support the channel, please visit the merch store and check out the Make Every Cast Count t-shirts, the sweatshirts, all the other stuff we got going on over there. Help support the channel and I appreciate you guys. So I got some of the stuff in my hand right here and some of the stuff is outside, but we're gonna go through it. I'm gonna give my opinions on it, why I got it, and how I think it's going to help me through this fishing and hunting and camping season. And maybe along the way, one of you guys will see something that you like and it will help you on your journey as well. And that's what it's all about. All right, let's get into it. It's probably appropriate to start off with the biggest thing and that is the tent. I ordered a Kodiak canvas tent. I slept in a Kodiak canvas tent a few weeks ago and it was so much more different than anything I'd ever camped in. I'm used to camping in like the little nylon feeling tents, you know, and, and it gets moist in there and then it's uncomfortable. So I've never had a big tent, first of all, and then one that's like canvas material, like a really tough material. Think about when, when people go elk hunting and they set up camp like out in the mountains for weeks at a time. This is what we're talking about. I would pick it up and show it to you right now, but it's uh, 50 kilograms. It took me uh, a couple of failed attempts to get it back here uh, on the back porch from the front porch. The delivery man was uh, some sort of Superman. Um, he threw it over his shoulder and made it look easy. But for the sake of YouTube and you guys probably won't even see that, I'm gonna attempt it once more. <laughs> Hopefully my back holds. <laughs> I'm not gonna attempt to pick this thing up again. I just moved it once more to get on a nice flat surface up here. More hogs rooting in the background. Anyway, let's open this baby up on the ground right here. <laughs> Forget the name of the website. But anyway, when I ordered it, I got a, uh, a free ground tarp. The awning's pretty important if you want to do any cooking or any you know, extracurricular activities outside of the tent, which of course you're gonna be cooking, you know, you wanna rig up your, your tackle, uh, you know, prep hunting gear and stuff like that and not get rained on and then, you know, if it's hot, you know, do it in the shade or whatever. So that's what I got on this, this deal with the tent. Now, it was pretty pricey. This tent was around 700 bucks. I figured it's something that I can use for a long, long time and uh, they also offer a lifetime uh, limited lifetime warranty on these things, so pretty good. They back the product. I definitely believe in getting good stuff that lasts a long time. Um, I think it just works out better in the long run. So let's open this bad boy up. Just free all the stuff online. Everyone's really pleased with them, and uh, they typically hold up to some pretty harsh conditions. Some serious campers. I guess it goes in that thing. How am I supposed to get this thing in the truck? My gosh, if I'm camping alone or something. Uh, all right. Here's one thing here. Uh, that's supposed to be all the tent stakes. This is where a lot of the weight is right here. Okay, well it's not too bad when you break it up. This is 12 by 9. Much assembly is required. I guess I better take a gander at this little book here and uh, let's put a little time lapse on it. Throw her together. by itself wow I think that's actually supposed to be a, uh, a two-person setup uh, my other couple people 
we're uh, doing mommy things and uh, I think out on a walk. Um, that's okay. I figured out a way. Uh, I used <laughs> rope. I replaced you with rope. So. Well, good. I'm glad that I could be replaced by rope. Man. One day we're all going to be camping in here. So uh, it's important to learn how to set this thing up. You weren't here. So you know what that means. I'm going to be by myself at Next camp time. setting it up. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be sipping your coffee or something like well, that. Well, I'll probably be walking around with Emmy. Yeah. Showing her all the leaves and yeah. things. You enjoy the nature while I... Old dad breaks his back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a tour of the outside. So this is the uh, 12 by 9. Comes with this awning. This is actually the side. I didn't set that up. These poles do some... They're sturdy. Let me tell you. They're, they're sturdy. But wow. Took some effort to get them in. Uh, and this outside material is, is that canvas material. Now, I got to do something here in just a minute. The instructions say you're supposed to water the tent. Water the tent? Water the tent, Does yeah. Does it grow after it's, you water the tent? No, <laughs> it shrinks actually. Oh. It shrinks the canvas material so it makes it tighter and waterproof. I know, seems weird. Make something waterproof, you water it. But anyway, that's what the instructions say to do, so that's what I'm going to do. Check out the digs. Check out the inside. It smells good. It smells good? Well, good. It smells very plasticky. Right. Maybe she shouldn't be smelling. Plasticky? Look, we can stand up. We can have a tent party. have a party. party in here. The lighting is excellent in here. <laughs> we can have a tent party. Let's have a tent Woo! party. I don't need nobody. <laughs> However that thing goes. All these are closed right now. You can open these up. Little and windows. Yeah, you can open up the windows. The zippers are supposedly good. Supposedly nice zippers. What do you think about that? Think of a girl. Well, this makes me excited to go camping. Yeah, I mean, look, this is huge. You can put like a nice little carpet rug in here. You can actually, yeah, you could you could do that and put cots. Normally, the awning, enclosed awning, is a hundred dollars, but I got it for uh, forty bucks. Ordering it from that website, that had a little deal going. I'm not gonna set that up because that's probably gonna take another, however long that time lapse was, but I'm gonna water this part. I'm gonna enclose it to get it soaked. Uh, and then we're gonna let this thing dry out and then it should be ready to camp. I'm going to be showing you guys the other stuff as well. It's gonna go in here. I'm basically setting up the truck camping scenario for you, but I'm pleased with the tent. Don't like the setup, how hard it is, but if you're by yourself and you got rope, anything's possible. I think that's written in some outdoor book somewhere. But like I said the other day in the video, we're uh, me and Rob are fishing and we're at that little cabin. You know, right here is my, right here's the boat. This is boat parking. I have my little backstop right here that looks similar to like a, a parks, park and recreation backstop. And then I got my tent right here. I mean, this is, this is how much I love the outdoors. This is literally childhood memories like just at at the house uh, I, I mean i could live in there i could let steph and and emmy just hang out in there i could just live out here i'm perfectly happy so uh last year i got a sleeping bag made by a company called teton uh it seemed like they make pretty good stuff so i decided to try out a few more of their things um, side note on the sleeping bag you had to not sweat that thing uh, it's a zero degree bag, but anyways, it's a huge, it's a really big bag, it's an XXL. I like to move around a lot when I'm sleeping, you know, who likes to be just zipped up in, in the, the cocoon? This is the Outfitter XXL Cot. You know, a cot is such a, I have such a bad taste in my mouth with the word cot. Uh, just from, you know, when you're a kid and you have to go take a nap at school, they're like, get on that cot, go take a nap, drink your juice. I hated getting on the cot, drinking my apple juice, and taking a nap. All I wanted to do was play. This has a 600 pound capacity. If I ever get to 600 pounds, God help me, uh, I'm definitely not getting on a bass boat, so I don't think we're getting there, but. Okay, I'm hoping that this is just a quick, easy setup here. Okay, a little bit easier than the tent. That is huge. Poles for the frame, and then we'll take these two poles, put them on the ends, slide them through this little dealio here, which I did upside down. Okay. Goes in here. Put that 
that in. All right, let me get this in. It's a little hard to pull this thing tight. I'm sure it needs to stretch a little bit. I'm gonna try this method to put my knees in here. Oh my gosh. Pull it like that, push with my legs. Uh, hell, my neighbors probably think I'm having some sort of weird party in here. Okay, I got it. Huh? LFD is here, just at the perfect time. They say this thing can hold up to 600 pounds. I know you're not near that, but just have. A, I know you've slept on some cots in your life, but I want to want to see what you think about this one right here. I don't know about this. It's an XXL. Yeah, man. I mean, if you're at fish camp, you oh, know. This is nice. That'll do. It's like sleeping on a trampoline. It was kind of hard to set up, though. It took it took uh, both of us stretching it out. So, again, one person camping, truck camping, a little bit difficult. Parents getting the boat cover action in. Dad, dad had to come take a peek at the the FX. The beast. Mom had to come take a peek at. Baby. That's the real reason she's here. Yeah, we all know. Uh, we'll be dangling in at some point this year. Well, I hope so. It's like NASCAR on water. NASCAR on water. That's a good analogy, Dad. <laughs> Got our cot set up. Massive. I love this. It was a little difficult to set up, but uh, I think I could do it. I'm just stretch it out. You know, a couple of sleeps on it, and it'll be fine. Now, I've made the mistake many times of not having a good pillow when I'm out, or not having a pillow at all. I take some sweatshirts or something out of my bag and I stuff them behind my head. Not the same. So I got one of these pillows. This is a, uh, a real packable pillow. And keep in mind, this is this is not something that I'm just going backpacking with. This is for truck, the truck camping. So I don't, it doesn't have to be really light. The pillow is made by Thermarest. It's got like a, a foam material in it some sort of like memory foam and it's it's little uh, pieces of it so it packs up and then you just kind of fluff it and this is the large version and then there you go now the pad is also important and so I've got a XXL pad so let's open this up oh yeah now I checked this one out on the internet and I really liked the simplicity of it basically just uh, strap it in two straps and then roll it out so without further ado let's do that buckle buckle I'm assuming the way this works there's a deal on the end that goes up under here tuck that up under there little deals on the corners you attach these ones on the end and it's not going anywhere. Ah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, this is it right here. This is it. Fish camp. Oh, I'm sleeping in comfort, baby. This is so comfortable. I'm a side sleeper, so that's real important to me. I can just roll over, have a little blanket over me. Pretend that's a blanket. Oh yeah, I'm good. I'm good with this pillow. Made sure to get the large pillow. Good to go. Except for when it gets cold. So, I went out and I got me a propane heater. Whew, there's a lot of static electricity on this bad boy. Better be careful around the propane. This right here, I've already unboxed it because I got really cold the other day and I turned it on. Probably a lot of you ice fishermen are already familiar with this thing, but this is uh, Mr. Heater Portable Buddy. And they make one more bigger than this that has two heat panels on it. I got a uh, hose adapter because your regular little Coleman um, propane only lasts like four or five hours. And when you're camping for multiple days and you know, you're sleeping and you don't want your heater to go out, you hook it up to a 20 pound propane tank use one of these hoses, keep your uh, tank outside, run it in, turn the heater on, you'd be surprised how hot it will stay. 
Now I know this from the last time I went trout, trout fishing, camping with my buddy, Lance, I had a double one set up, couldn't even turn on the other heat, uh, the other heat panel, it was too hot. And it was actually uh, around the freezing temperatures that night. So this will be perfect for most of the places I go. And plus, I'm gonna be off the ground. That cold transfers through the ground into your, uh, whatever your sleeping pad is and your sleeping bag and everything like that. So being off the ground helps, plus the heat rises, you're, you're just in the mix. So that is perfect right there. Portable buddy. And I've got this deal that I showed you guys in the other video, but this is really cool. One of you guys sent this in. It looks like a deer feeder battery, but it's even bigger with a circuit board in it fuses and it's all wired up to uh, help you charge two USB slots. It's got a light on it. Uh, it's got a uh, 12 volt uh, car battery adapter. You know, that's like your outlet of the tent. Come in here, you plug in your stuff, and good to go. So may have to do something a little bit bigger than that if I'm going for a long time where I need to charge like a lot of batteries and different kinds of camera gear, but this is set up perfect for right now. Oh, one other thing for the tent. Keep yourself organized, especially for a video man like myself. I've got a little side unit here. So you're coming in from filming, fishing, hunting, doing all that stuff in here at night. And you gotta stay organized. So I got this little deal. This was a cheap little add-on to the cot. So you just Velcro that puppy on and then you've got space to put your phone, you know, batteries, toothbrush, all your, you know, whatever, whatever you're doing. I've still got to soak the outside of the tent, so we need to do that. And I've got uh, a couple more things that will enhance the experience for when you wake up in the morning. Now the old Coleman already had, and uh, this is a classic. It's cooked many of hot dogs and other things at camp, but what I'm gonna use it for, amongst other things, is making coffee with a percolator. Percolator's just fun to say. This is from Bozeman Coffee. Stainless steel, nine cup, uh, Colet Coletti, maybe is the is actually the name. Uh, talks about some Italian immigrants, uh, Italians know their coffee. And I'm gonna guess people from Bozeman know their coffee. Cause it's really cold up there. It's got a YouTube video deal on it, so it shows you how to do it. it comes with filters, that's good. That's what happens. For y'all that are unfamiliar with a percolator to make your coffee, you know, essentially a coffee maker, it just drips hot water over the beans, the grinds, and then uh, that's how you get uh, the coffee. So what happens with this guy is when the water boils, it goes up to the top. The water goes up to the top because it's basically boiling and it's trying to get out, but then it hits the cap. It's this little guy here. That's how you know it's perking right there. And then it works down into the grind. So everything's happening at once. You don't have your water separate from the coffee. It's underneath, it comes up and then goes down all in the same unit. I wanted something that was strong and simple that didn't have plastic on it because I'm putting a flame to it. I don't want anything to melt. So this has got a wood handle. This is where you put your coffee. You actually don't even need a filter if you if you grind your coffee a little bit more coarse. That's for a whole nother video. But if you're just taking regular folders or whatever, I'm taking delicious free range. And I, I grind that down uh, to about medium fine. We're gonna put a filter on it and then put this on there and then we're good to go. So we're gonna get this popping, show you how that works. Woo, there we go. Probably wanna do this before you get the flame going. Just a cautionary tale. It's another really cool thing I got. It's at home. I use this at home. This is a, a gator. I don't know, maybe I gate or something, but I go ahead and get grind my coffee, then I put it in here. It keeps it fresh. Two, two scoops for the purposes of this video. Airlock, it's good to go. Tough unit. I like that, that product right there. Put this back. 
back in there. Close the lid. When that starts boiling, comes up the top, goes over the beans, and then we got coffee, baby. Well, I guess I got nothing better to do now. I'm gonna sit here and water my tent. All right, looks like that is ready. Oh yeah, handle's not hot, that's good. That's important. Give ourselves a pour. Yes, sir. I can even see the oils in the coffee. When you get a good coffee, it's got the oils brewed right, and it's good. The only thing is those grinds, they tend to come up on the top, so if you let it just settle for a while before you pour it, you don't get as many grinds in your brew. In some ways, that's better than your traditional coffee maker. It's almost like using a French press, you know, to get more of the flavor. Oh. And that is it, y'all. I've got the whole layout, I've shown you all, all the gear that I'm gonna be using this year. Uh, I will leave links down below if you guys are curious about any of these things, want to get your hands on them. Again, this video is not sponsored by anybody, so this is just my my honest opinion. This is what I thought would work. Now I gotta finish watering the tent. I gotta let it dry overnight so the canvas material will tighten up and be waterproof. They say forever. You only have to do that one time. Y'all already know what to do. Subscribe right here to the channel so you don't miss a single video, especially using all this stuff out in the great outdoors and you know what this thing doubles as a, a nice little suite in the backyard just in case I get myself in trouble on the inside <laughs> some might call it a luxury doghouse I love you guys thanks for being here and I'll see you on the next one